I always say uh, there's no one who can come to my office right now after almost 16 years of doing this and shock me until the other day. A lady walked into my office devastated. She said her husband called the pastor without her consent to come and pray for her. Apparently, she has been mourning and groaning every other night for a while now. You know, you know those moans and groans? The ones your husband can actually recognize when you're feeling good or you're about to climax. You know, when they're just having a good time, the two of you, or going to Mombasara, her first class. Because when it's just the Kawaida Mombasara, you just, mm, you know, but this is the, mm, oh, hapo, wacha, twende. She could hear, he could hear what she was saying, but it was very familiar because those are the kind of sounds she makes when they're making love. So this guy asked around, you know, his peers, he, she even, he even went to church to ask what is going on. Sometimes she's not even as loud as when she sleeps, when she's making love to me, you know. And one of the pastors said, the, has, the wife has a spiritual husband. And every time she's making those kind of sounds, this guy, this lady, is having sex with the spiritual husbands. I don't know about you guys. I have no idea what spiritual husbands are. I didn't even know that they existed, but I know what's going on with this lady. She's having a wet dream. My name is Getu Mungai. I'm a lifestyle designer on sex and relationships. And this is Marriage is a Scam with a cherry on top. Today, we have a lot of scamming. More scam than cherry, especially this wet dream um, uh, topic we are about to, to, to discuss. Which I've already said, I've given you the background story. I hope you understand. I really needed to paint the picture so you can understand. Because these are good people. I met them. They came for mediation. They're very good people, but they almost lost this beautiful marriage. Now, did you know uh, marriage is a scam airs, marriage is a scam with a cherry on top? I can't say it halfway. Otherwise, you will quote me saying marriage is a scam and I'm about to celebrate my 25th year marriage. I'm not bragging. <laughs> a fresh episodes airs every Friday, 10 a.m. Sane Asuboi. Please try to get to catch up with uh, the, the episode every Friday. And... As you're watching, do not forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, comment. Don't forget to, um, yeah, subscribe, like, and comment. I'd really, really love to hear what you think. And even let me know what you think about this episode tonight or today, this morning. Yeah, I know most of you guys are going to watch at night, but that's okay. So, wet dreams. The names is erotic dreams. Sleep orgasms, nocturnal emissions. Did they say omission? Emission. Eh? English is not my first language. So, nocturnal emission. This is one and the same thing. It means, in fact, the right word is nocturnal emission. That's the right word. But um, many times it's confusing. You know, and I see why this guy is convinced that the wife is having um, a spiritual husband. Wet dreams, first of all, is associated with teenage boys. You know, when they have wet dreams, their bodies are going through a lot of um, hormonal changes as they come to maturity, when they come, uh, as they come to their sexual maturity. Now, uh, or sleep orgasm or erotic dreams is actually associated with women. It's never discussed. And you know why? As some people don't even believe it exists. You know why? Because there's no evidence. When a young boy, when a boy gets away dreams, there's evidence in the morning. When a man gets, even grown men get um, wet dreams, cold, most of the time they refer to nocturnal emissions, there's evidence. But when a woman gets away dreams, there's no evidence. But they will mourn and they will groan. And that's the majority of many people, experts, experts, you know, people, counselors, they actually call it erotic dreams, but the same. I mean, that some happen to men and others happen to women. But with us women, hakuna evidence. 
You don't wake up and feel like you're wet. You don't wake up and feel like something happened. But you remember. Majority of the women remember. Okay? And if you're honest, ladies, if you're listening to, to me right now, or you've come across this clip, if you're honest, you will admit to yourself. It has happened to you once or twice. It has happened to me. I'm not embarrassed to say it. At first, I also didn't understand. And it doesn't happen. Okay, sometimes it happens to women who are very sexually stopped. They've been going through a dry spell. It happens to them. And sometimes it happens to women who are vibrant sex life. They're not missing anything, but they are at the prime. They're enjoying sex. Something is good because it comes with happiness. It, you'll never get a woman who is depressed or going through depression getting um, erotic dreams. Never. It happens when you are in your happy state. When you're happy. See, happiness to us women is also associated to sex. Yeah, did you know that? Yes. And that's why when women are sad, going through some sort of crisis, the last thing they want to do is sex. Different, very different for men. They resolve, they tend to resolve everything with sex. For us, happy place means you also want to enjoy your sex. And that's why it's never been documented before. Or it's hardly been documented before. Or you get piece of pockets of wet dreams when it comes to women. Never. So please spread the word that women also have wet dreams. Women have erotic dreams. So we don't come home and find pastors sitting at our, at our living room waiting to pray for us. Like I said at the beginning, wet dreams are actually associated with men. You know, when a woman young boys young men okay uh well, for older men hardly older men hardly get with dreams especially if you're past your 60 65 you might not be able to get wet dreams let alone morning wood and that's okay it's just a transition it's part of life there's nothing medically wrong with you okay it's new to women and like i said it's because it has not been documented before so when you hear your wife or you as a woman, when you feel like I do get with dreams or your husband mentions like, hmm, what was going on at night? Last, uh, what was going on uh, when you're sleeping, making those kind of so sounds? I know this is embarrassing and it might even bring problems. Uh, for men, when they have erotic dreams, they don't, when they have wet dreams, they don't necessarily have erotic dreams. Okay, let's start with the men. They don't necessarily have erotic dreams. Sometimes it's just a hard bed sheet or something hard which has rubbed Mr. Victor, caused Mr. Victor to get an erection. And if that rubbing continues before you realize he has ejaculated, he wasn't dreaming, he wasn't thinking or having erotic sex. For women, it's a bit different. Yes, Sometimes it does involve something rubbing Miss Victoria in a certain way. But remember, for us, we're all covered up. And we don't, we're not, it's not external, it's internal. So by the time you get something pinching and poking your pleasure knob, mm, that hardly happens. But if you are in a nice comfy bed, you've just changed your bed sheets. You're in your happy place. That is enough to give you erotic thoughts, which can give you wet dreams or it can give you erotic dreams. Another thing, yes, and this is very, very embarrassing. Sometimes we fantasize, you know. Uh, sometimes we fantasize about your husband. Or sometimes we fantasize about somebody else. Or sometimes people say women are not um, visual. They are lying. Women, we are visual too. When we see somebody attractive, sometimes we take it to the bed with us. And you fantasize. You just think, and uh, before you realize, you have lost yourself in your erotic thoughts. And you're making those noise, noises, you're moaning, you're groaning, and um, it can be embarrassing, yes. So if your partner mentions that you're doing that, it is important for you guys to sit down and explain. You sit down and discuss it. The worst thing you want to do is to involve people before you've had a chance to discuss and find out from each other. Yeah? So, my biggest advice to this couple was they should have involved um, a pastor yet. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to involve a pastor. Sometimes it's a requirement you need to involve a pastor. But for this, it shouldn't have been a surprise because this lady felt like the husband invaded her privacy, uh, gave out one of the intimate secrets 
you know, even if it's to a pastor, by toast out there. She even wanted to change churches. She just didn't feel comfortable anymore because you can imagine sex in church to so many people. These two things don't come together, even within marriage. So today we discuss about weight dreams and a pastor was involved. Tomorrow it could be about something totally intimate. You know, as intimate as a husband who's brought a certain disease into the home. Because I've seen this many times. And you run to parents or you run to pastor. What I'm saying is you cannot afford to involve any other person or third party before the two of you have had a chance to sit down and discuss it. My name is Getrud Mungai. I'm a lifestyle designer on sex and relationship. And this is Marriage is a Scam with a Cherry on Top. Please follow, comment, and subscribe. Like. That's the most important. Also like. And let me know. I would really, really love to hear from you. What do you think about this? Has it ever happened to you? Do you know anyone that has gone through this? Because hey, dreams are part of our lives. And the bigger you dream, the better your life is going to be. Keep dreaming, guys, while you are sleeping. Asante ni sana na mumarekiwe.